so android has released android 12 beta 5 and in this video i'm just going to be sharing with you the changes and the new features in this beta so if you are new here consider subscribing don't forget to like this video share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them and without further ado let's just dive into the video getting closer to the final release of android 12 and in this new beta 5 what i want to share with you is we need the clock app so when you go to your clock app you can now see that the clock now uses the material you theming which wasn't present initially in the beta 4.1 and also you can see right here beneath right here that's all the menus have been assembled very very cool and when you check out right here when you tap on any of them you can see that the toggle just moves to the one you feel like you want and that is basically very cool so it allows you to just get your material you theming from any angle or any part of the app you feel like you want and i think android is really doing a great job compared to the previous os versions they released and when you check out my home screen you can see the home screen all really matches with the clock app right here and that is basically very very cool I also found in this new Android 12 Beta 5 was the clock right here. So this clock right here has been one of the top features I have been waiting for on Android 12 Beta versions. So when you want to just see this clock, you have to go to your widgets and then you scroll down so you get to clocks and then you tap on it. And Android actually introduced five different clocks aside this one. So when you check out right here, we have this and then we have this, the guitar one, and then we have this vertical one too. And we have these two different ones too right here. So I think this is very, very cool. And Android is really doing a great job with this new widgets right here. And you can just try them out if you feel like you want to just get it. You just press hold on any of the ones you feel like you want. And then you're going to go right here and then drop it. And that is basically very, very cool. You can adjust it anyhow you feel like you want it. And then you are good. So this is very, very awesome. And you can just play around with it anyhow you feel like you want it. And you're going to be able to just have a feel of your new clock widgets right here so another thing i saw again was in the calculator so when you check out the calculator right here you can see that the calculator has picked the android 12 material you theme in right here which wasn't present initially when you tap on any number you can just see that the number differentiates from whatever um, background you have right here and the background really matches with the wallpaper i have chosen right here and this means the material you is really taking effect in this new calculator app so the long awaited device search system is now being introduced so when you check out right here you can see we have search your phone and more this is very very awesome that it's beyond my thinking and i'm just wondering how google just did this so in case maybe you feel like you want to type in anything you're gonna get a keyboard right here which will also give you the chance to just make this keyboard shows up every time you get here or probably you just tap on this side for it to just move away or in case you tap on this side for it to move away you just have to tap on this section before your keyboard is going to be present so right now let me see i'm searching for your contact and let me just type in my other number and you're going to see that i'm going to get this contact right here which wasn't present initially we never had a chance to just type in something in this search section and then we are going to get our contact or even get a chance to just message someone but you can move on to just check this one out in case maybe i begin to just delete some of the alphabets it's actually going to allow me to just see any word or any sentence that has the same spellings with whatever i started spelling with and when i just move on to just delete more it's going to be more specific right here so right now it has reached applications so i have stream you have status sticker and then sticker so in case maybe you add i it's going to bring sticker right here which means it is an sti and when i take it off and i bring a it's going to bring status right here so this is pretty much very very cool that you are going to be able to just search anything you feel like you want to search on your phone being a settings or anything when i scroll down like this i'm going to be able to just see settings that start with st and you're going to see them right here you have settings right here we have assistant which has st in it and it's very in-depth that it gives you the chance to just search anything you feel like you want to see on your phone so i think android has really done a great job bringing this feature on board and that is basically very cool so if you like this feature just stay in the comment section and let me know how best you think this is going to be helpful to us and so some other changes i also found was within the lock screen so when you check out the lock screen right here you can see that our notifications we have on our phone is now based in the center of the device initially it was kind of above right here somewhere here but now it's just in the middle of the screen and i think that is basically very cool it makes you get a chance to just tap it with one handed or like it being uh, right here for you to just tap on it and then it's going to be very difficult or something so you don't have to full stretch your hand to just tap on anything you can just do any task you feel like you want to just do and you're going to be good so i think android did well with this one too and also when you check out the time right here it's now based in the center initially it was a bit above right here it's now based in the center too and that is one thing 
i noticed right here so talking about this then i'm just gonna switch to the glance so when you check out right here you can see that there's something different right here initially we had our weather beneath this day and then dates right here but now we don't have our weather right here so i think if maybe android made a mistake or probably they omitted that i think it needs to be live in the final update because it's very very cool having weather on your phone it's a feature that every device is having right now in the 21st century so i think android should do something about it because i can't find anything that looks like we got our weather or something and again when you just tap on your screen to just go to your glance you can see that settings has been scratched away and then also you just have all the customizing and feedback so when you tap on customize and then you go to at a glance right here you're gonna see that you have the chance to pick in toggles you have the chance to turn on toggles but you don't even know the toggle you are turning on actually so when you check out right here i can turn the toggles on but i don't even know what i'm actually turning on so i think that is a bag i've seen so far too on this new android 12 beta 5 and i think it's going to be sorted probably maybe when they are bringing the release candidate it's actually going to be sorted before the final release so android 12 beta 5 also brought to us the new easter egg widgets so in case you want to just activate this widget you need to go to your about of your phone and you scroll down to android 12 and you tap on this side so you just get your screen like this and then you switch it to 12 and then when it just pops up like this your widget has been activated so when you go to your home screen and then you go to widgets you're going to scroll through so you're going to see this android s is the egg so when you tap on it and then you just press hold and then you drop it on your screen you're going to be able to just see your easter egg widgets on your screen and you can expand it anyhow you feel like you want it to just see all the colors right here so this explains the colors that is actually present on your screens right here so when you check out right you can see we have a lot of greens and then some kind of blue black right here and then black and a white right here so when you check out the theme i have on my screen you're gonna see the colors right here is actually matching whatever i have right here and that is basically very cool i can move forward to just change my wallpaper and you're actually going to see that the colors right there are also going to change so let me just pick this one the initial one i was using and then i set it as my home screen and i'm going to go back to that section where everything is and y'all going to see that it's very very different like it used to be so you can see the colors have changed now we have yellow and then white and then black so this is actually explaining the colors that are present in this material you theming you've already picked and i think that is basically very cool it allows you to just know whatever you are picking and you can just shrink it to just a single um widget right here and that is basically very cool you position it anywhere you feel like you want it and that is very very cool but i am sure this is not really important though because it's actually just showing us the colors we use but as to maybe it having any external you know, use or something i don't know yet unless maybe i dive through very very well before i'm gonna know what or how this one works but you can also move on to just share this colors to people in case maybe you want to share to them you tap on it and it's going to allow you to just copy or share to someone but like i said i don't know what the person is actually going to use it for unless maybe android actually outline everything or how this one works too for us to just know um how things are going to be done or how we're going to use this best so another thing i also found was within the shutdown lock screen so when you come to the shutdown screen like this and then you check out this lockdown right here it probably gonna be a feature maybe some people wouldn't like to see or maybe they don't want to get it and initially we had a chance to just take this away but now it's not in the settings and we don't have the chance to just get this lockdown deactivated so when i type in lockdown right here you're going to see that we don't have the chance or we don't get anything showing that we are going to be able to just search for lockdown and then take it away so i think maybe android needs to just check this out in case maybe there's something that needs to be done or they probably don't want us to do anything they should just inform us in the release note or something and pretty much that is all i've seen so far in this new android 12 beta 5 and if this was helpful just stay it in the comment section and let me know or if maybe i omitted something just draw my attention and then let me know and i'll actually come up with a follow-up video in case i see a new feature or anything and my battery life and performance video is actually going to follow up in some few days so don't forget to subscribe to the channel just stick around so that you don't miss anything i'll be posting on this channel and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace